In Northumberland, we are incredibly lucky to have an endangered species of crayfish in our waters, the white claw crayfish. Let's take a look. White claw crayfish are a vital part of our ecosystem. They feed on not only other invertebrates and plants, but they feed on dead matter, which helps keep our rivers clean. They are also a primary food source for one of the nation's most charismatic animals, the European otter. These crayfish inhabit a diverse variety of clean aquatic habitats, and they are a great indicator species of a healthy water system. They especially favor hard water streams and rivers. They have nocturnal habits and tend to hide away under rocks and small crevices. These hardy crayfish can live up to 12 years and grow to around 120 millimeters in length. But all is not as well as it seems with our crayfish. Our crayfish are at risk to a much larger and aggressive signal crayfish. These invasive American crayfish compete with our native white clawed crayfish for food and shelter in our rivers. They have the ability to dig burrows into soft river banks, increasing the risk of erosion and generating silt in rivers, which impacts on so many other species. The worst part about the signal crayfish is that they carry a deadly plague, which is fatal to our smaller white clawed crayfish. The cause of this crayfish plague is a water mold. This mold attacks the soft tissue of native crayfish and generates a buildup of neurotoxin in their bodies, eventually killing them. Signal crayfish can carry this mold, but they are immune to it. Once this mold is introduced into a waterway, it can spread rapidly and kill off all native crayfish that are present in an area. And this can happen in a matter of weeks. But all is not lost. You can help us protect our white clawed crayfish by following the Check Clean Dry code. You can help protect our native crayfish by helping stop the spread of this plague. The plague is easily moved between waterways as it can survive on a surface for as long as 22 days. After your activity, check your equipment, clothes and footwear for mud, insects or any plant material. Remove any foreign bodies and leave them at the site. When you get home, clean everything as thoroughly as you can, ideally with hot water, being sure to clean any nooks and crannies and hard to reach places in boats, nets, tires and boots. Once clean, be sure to drain your equipment and leave it to dry for up to 72 hours before using it in another waterway. This is the best way to stop the spread. If you're out and about and you see a crayfish either dead or alive, leave it where it is and report it to the environment agency. This helps us keep up to date with incidents and species sightings. By just washing your wellies, your canoes, fishing gear, or buckets after use, you can help stop the spread of the plague and protect our native white claw crayfish. Anyone who's doing any outdoor activities can find out more about the Check Clean Dry code by scanning this QR code or going onto the website. Let's stop the spread and protect our native species. In order to help us stop the spread of this plague, then do follow the Check Clean Dry code the next time you go in any of our waters and protect our crayfish.